Hello everyone, London's MT07 here with you and I just wanted to share with you my uh, you know my procedure when it comes to securing my bike when it's parked especially here in London uh, well to be more specific in central London where the rate of motorcycle theft has just you know skyrocketed in the last two to three years and these thieves will you know nick literally anything to the latest Ducati to the cheapest scooter uh, you can get now you know now the procedures i'm going to show you in this video isn't going to isn't going to uh, necessarily prevent your motorcycle from being stolen 100 because when a thief will say something they will do whatever it takes for them to get their hands on it so we're going to jump on to security uh, measure number one which is standard on all bikes and that is the steering lock now lock that on so there you go that's security uh, procedure number one that's going to give them about 10 to 15 seconds max 20 seconds worth of work to get through and you know again it's just adding on that time it takes for them to take it now going straight on to security measure number one and that is the front wheel disc lock now with this one this is a heavy duty uh, heavy duty uh, disc lock very you know very strong and it will uh, gave them about i would say a minute to a minute and a half of work and again it is alarmed so as soon as you touch it it will you know go on for like 15 or so seconds now going on to security measure number three and which is the most important out of all the security measures so far and that is securing your bike to something that is uh you know isn't going to move now when it comes to chaining your bike guys always remember not to chain the back tire now with the back wheel that is something that can be removed in a in a matter of seconds you know with the right tools and the you know right experience it can be removed fairly quickly now with this chain this is a crypt light chain very heavy duty uh it's probably going to give the thieves about about two minutes worth of work because you have to do two cuts for them to get through it not just one cut now with this chain we lock it with a with a kryptonite uh, lock again there's no point of having a really heavy duty chain with a crap uh, lock it defeats the purpose of a thick chain now with me being very uh, very cautious about my bike being stolen i actually chain uh, sorry lock the bike lock the chain with two separate locks just in case if the bastards can get through the uh, first one we add a second one just like this like, like so so there you go there we go and remember to secure it to the actual frame and not the back wheel after we've done that we add one last chain now with this one this is just a normal lightweight chain not heavy duty nothing special about it but again it just adds on the timeline it takes for them to uh, make the bike and again lock it something that isn't gonna be removed like so and uh, should be all good after this and again guys just remember the more security device you put on the longer it takes for the thief to take it and therefore may prevent it prevent the theft to a certain extent so there we go so that's all secure now all uh, good to go wherever you're gonna go <laughs> So guys, just to summarize, if you've bought yourself a 10,000 pound bike, 6,000 pound bike, whatever, a 30,000 pound bike, spending 250 pound to 300 pound on good locks and chains, something that's gonna, you know, prevent your bike from getting stolen to a certain extent is gonna be worth it uh, for the money. And I uh, hope you guys have benefits from this video. Hope you guys take, away, take something away from this, from, from this video. And uh, maybe you can implement something that, I, that I've showed you in this uh, video also. So if you guys uh, like this video, comment down below any of your questions and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.